Hey everybody, Beard Brothers Breaks here. Brett here, trying to push that Topps Gallery, uh, the first one we had, guys. How was, every, how was everyone's Memorial Day week? Weekend, I should say. There we go. So yeah, guys, trying to push this break. Hope everyone had a great weekend. And let's get to it. Let's get this thing pushed and broke. Ooh, excuse me. Bringing it up on my phone just to make sure I don't screw anything up. So let's see. Yeah, we are down to let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Eighteen spots left. Just confirming that I have that correct. 18 spots left guys I know it's quite a few but I mean let's be honest these are all uh, this is an overall less least less expensive break um, so I definitely believe we could do it definitely think it's possible So, let's see what we can do, guys. Let's see what we're able to pull off. I was just reading. Uh, I got some things my grandfather had. I got like an old, an old bandsaw, a uh, 14 inch bandsaw. The thing is so old, just you can't even find a manual for it. It's like, oh my gosh. A little bit of a like, oh boy, I don't know if this is worth trying to use. My grandfather liked to do woodwork, and I also got a wood lathe. Uh, Dandy Andy, thank you, Dandy Andy. What's up, Easy? Easy Polizy and Dandy Andy in the house. So I got a wood lathe from my grandfather, and I also I got a bandsaw, and like a like a a belt driven um, sander unit you know, where you could like sharpen knives and stuff against. My grandfather loved to do woodwork when he was uh, able to, when he was still able to do so and he did a good job he made many bowls it was pretty cool stuff and I always asked him hey can you teach me can you teach me this stuff and he just never did and I was like oh, I'll try learning this stuff looks pretty cool I've always liked woodworking it's pretty pretty relaxing slash I love the smell of wood like fresh cut pine I don't know if you guys saw it in the news. Let's see if I still have it on my phone. I just saw a hitter for the Braves. So it was just in the news. Let's see. So yeah, guys, we're pushing this Topps Gallery. Uh, I'm hoping we can get this thing moved. I think we can. It's, it's, it's. I really think we could. It's not a huge break as far as price point goes. So, who was it? Uh. Slugger for the Braves. Let's see. Just popped up in my feed. Yeah. Ozuna. Let's see. Marcel Ozuna. Got in trouble with the cops. Threatened to kill his own wife. Freaking scumbags. Even when you have what should make you, well, I mean, obviously money doesn't make you happy, guys, as we know, but it sure helps. Even when you have tons of money and everything else, some people want to throw it all away. But we'll stay on lighter affairs, guys. I just saw that. Thought, oh, baseball news. Ooh. 
I've been watching uh I've been uh looking like I have a lot of I watch a lot of YouTube and I had a uh, this guy who's going in I guess he's into Pokemon cards but he's going into the stores and uh you know people are hiding even for Pokemon people are taking like a pack and hiding it behind other cards and stuff like that it's just ridiculous crazy card market never thought it would go this crazy Never thought the card market would get to be where it's at now, that's for sure. So guys, I went on a little later tonight. I decided we'd go on towards 8 o'clock, hoping to get more people available, just because I know everyone's busy during the daytime. So, Plus, you know, we got the good old West Coast. Got all our good fellas on the West Coast. Make it a little more convenient for them. So, yeah, we're down to 17 spots now, guys. Just pulling it up on my phone. So, 17 spots, guys. I know we can do this. I think we can. I know we can. So again, guys, how was uh, how's everyone's Memorial Day weekend? How did everyone enjoy their Memorial Day? Again, here it was just rainy, rain, rain. I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, partly Monday, rain, 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 rain. I mean, just remember, guys, uh, just a reminder for everyone to know about, if you didn't know, or a reminder for those who may know. But, uh, yeah, we got Top's Finest and Absolute on the website, guys. Top's Finest and Absolute on the website. Half, uh, half case of Absolute, half case of Top's Finest. Um... Obviously, we got the other products that we've had up there, Top Scoutery, which we're working on now, to Tier 1, and the Futera. We even threw up a thing of wrestling, guys. Um, soon we'll have some Onyx Vintage, probably going up tomorrow. Uh, we have another Breaks in the Mix that Matt and I worked on that's going to go up eventually as well, a different one. And again, eBay, guys, eBay is going to be hit the next two weeks hard again just because of all this product coming out at once. It's crazy. They pushed everything right to around the same time. And the funniest thing i got to say is Matt's always like, oh, they're not going to do it. They're not going to have all that product come out at once. That would be stupid. He always told me that. That would never happen. And a lot of times when that's happened so far, yeah, products get moved around. So he was right. But I told him you got to plan for the worst of it and that it could happen and that and yeah well it did that's my point it did happen all of the product came out at once so we will hit eBay hard this Friday we had an issue so this Friday all we're going to be able to do is tops finest for the eBay instead of we don't have absolute unfortunately for that night but we do have absolute full case uh, Saturday as well as another half case of tops finest so Absolute and Top's Finest on Saturday, Top's Finest for Friday. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Got to get some people in here. Get some chatting going on. I went on later because I figured more people would be available. Going to be a fun but crazy week. And then the week after that, the week after this week's really going to get picked up because, you know, we'll still have some absolute left. We still have finest that's going to be left. We still have Onyx Vintage at that point. 
And I think I think uh, series two comes out next week too, guys. So series two, we're gonna have we're gonna have like Onyx uh, Vintage going on Monday, Tuesday, uh, possibly even Wednesday. We just don't know. You know, Friday, Saturday, we'll have some jumbo of the series two coming. I mean, it's just it's gonna be packed full of tons of good breaks, great cards. Um, the tops finest is going to look like it's going to be really good this year. Um, just watched a video about it. Plus, we've gotten it last year, but I don't think we got a case. We just bought individual boxes. But uh, it looks like it's going to be good again this year, maybe even a little better. So, And again, for those who don't know, tops finest, if you want some uh, Angels or Mike Trout. Mike Trout has a lot of cards in that product. There's apparently a lot of Mike Trout autos that you can get in that product. So I know Cali Mike may have already gotten them. Um, that's a product to try to get your angels in, especially if you want some Mike Trout. <sighs> so we're pushing the gallery again, guys. I know it's not the newest product out there or anything right now, but uh, it wasn't bad. That last break of it wasn't half bad at all. And again, the spots are very affordable, and that's one of the biggest things. Very affordable spots. Gotta say, it's nice every once in a while, even when I'm not the one having to buy the spots, to just see how cheap, how le less expensive the teams are, because it's like, almost like give people a little bit of a break. Still can get him some autos and don't have to, don't have to take an arm and a leg. Yeah, I know, Danny, Andy. That I know you would have loved them too. Sorry, dude. The, that stuff went. F it did, actually, but surprisingly, it didn't go as fast. Matt's getting all worried as he does. He always gets all worked up and worried, and he's always like, "Oh, you put an email out," I, and like he's just like. I'm, I don't know if you did, but, you know, usually if you put an email out, things, definitely for new product, it goes like crazy, and, you know, honestly, I mean, things are moving, but not like they usually do for new product. Like, you know, he would expect each break to be halfway sold out, not just five spots sold out. And he's getting all nervous, and I'm like, eh, calm down, chill, dude. Chill, take, take a big chill pill. It's like, what happens, happens. We, Matt, Matt actually mentioned it today, and at first thought I thought he was crazy. Um, obviously, guys, we're not the biggest breakers out there, though we'd like to think we are, but we're not. And so we're still kind of starting out, guys. I mean, we're only, a, we're only about a year and a half old, roughly. Um, we haven't been, you know, and when we started the first year, we didn't know what we are doing, blah, blah, blah. Matt, Matt actually mentioned it, and something what we're, we're looking at doing which is um, if a break that when breaks it on the website too long we know you guys want a lot of you guys are like come on so obviously there's nothing we can do as far as to make people buy um, and Matt puts out a lot of tweets and everything uh, we're gonna hit up Facebook more we're gonna try to hit up Facebook more Matt and I have to talk about it all but one thing uh, Matt mentioned and at first I thought he was crazy and now I'm thinking you know what? it's not a bad idea We've actually talked to other breakers who kind of mentioned that, you know, when you want when you first get started, you may have to even just lose money on product. Obviously, you can't do that all day long, or you're just going to have to shut down. But there may be times you get product and you basically make no payment, or don't lose money. You don't want to ever lose money, I should say. I mean, it could happen, but um, sometimes it just comes down to you're going to have to break flat even and not make any money. Which obviously sucks, putting all the time and effort. But it's sometimes it's just how it is. Um, so, my I'm 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 really rambling on right now. The point is, uh, we talked about possibly putting stuff on uh, eBay. So like, you know, in the future, if this break has been sitting here long enough, we'll just throw whatever teams haven't sold up on eBay. So that way, the break goes no matter what. Obviously, Matt and I can't do that again if it were to constantly be losing money. We're not going to do that for long. But just so we can get the brakes moving, guys, get you the, your card sooner. So you're not sitting there bought into a spot and it's sitting there for a month. Obviously, that's a lot more rare, I'd like to, to say. If you ask me, there are times where sometimes that happens. But most of the time, I feel like we're pretty good at moving product. Um, 
But it can happen where stuff sits for a couple weeks. So that's one thing we did talk about to keep this stuff moving. Uh, for Not just for, for you guys and for us. So that way, nothing's sitting stagnant. People aren't waiting for their cards. We don't want people to get to the point of... We've had very few people ask for money back. Um, very few. Like a hand, I can only count it on one hand where we've had people ever ask like for money back. Um, but we realize, hey, we may just have to throw throw remaining spots up on eBay just to get the rake finished off sometimes. Um, obviously, it's going to have to depend on the break and stuff, but uh, just to let you guys know, that is a very big possibility um, for the future. You know, just figured, you know, we'll probably have to do that in the future and just trying to get things sold out, so... It's really interesting. I don't know if you guys know, but some of you may know, but eBay, eBay is obviously a good way to get moving and started and stuff. And it was quite interesting. They just sent a thing out about uh, card breaks um, where basically you're not allowed to retract your bid anymore without approval from the breaker. So like we do, we've, you know, we've had people every once in a while who will be like, oh, I overbid by accident. And they don't need our permission right now. They just, I guess there's a thing you can click on everything to retract your bid. That's before it's won. That's just like, oh, it hasn't been won yet. The person decides, I don't want it anymore. They can just retract the bid. Um, interestingly, um, eBay is changing that up so that you can't do that anymore. That they are going to change it so you would have to contact the seller. Um for breaks you'd have to contact us and be like hey i i bid on i bid on this team i didn't mean to bid that much money uh can i retract the bid not that that affects us too much i told matt like truthfully i don't think it's going to affect us that much but hey what's up michael the duff stonata no uh we sold <laughs> i just got on around five minutes of eight uh just trying to push this gallery break i mean if you guys were to push something else and get it start selling it i'll do that too obviously i'm not going to say no to it obviously we can't do absolute or finest yet the product's not out but uh yeah you you guys push the uh tier one or you guys push the uh onyx um i would i wouldn't mind doing those either you know we're just trying to sell spots out of this break right now michael uh um, just trying to get it finished off and actually break it because it's been sitting there a while. Just been talking about all different types of things. You know, eBay's been very interesting. We had one guy, guys, so we did wrestling recently. And this guy must have never gotten into a, a break ever on eBay or in general. So we had it. We had wrestling guys and it was a pick your own wrestler. You know, P-Y... Oh, wait, P P Y. W technically a PYW pick your own wrestler uh, and this is what happens the guy wins the spot you know he's from Canada and as you guys know how we have to do it to keep the top rater seller seller status is even if you don't win anything we have to mail you something um, so we just mailed I mailed him uh, some uh, tops uh, WWE finest cards that I had because I was like, hey, it's wrestling. It's better than me sending him a wax pack. He was livid. He he said, this is not what I was promised. I was promised a guaranteed auto. Uh, he expected he expected a guaranteed auto of the wrestler he won the spot for. He's clearly never done breaks before in his life. He thought he was getting a guaranteed auto of that wrestler. Like, how would we even guarantee that? And number two, then he thought he was going to get all eight boxes from WWE Wrestling. All eight boxes, guys. He actually thought that. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what is this guy thinking? Like, Matt's usually like, oh, we don't want to tick people off. Make them happy. You know, when it comes to eBay, even if the person didn't read the description, like... When it came to like something like shipping, like, hey, you know, yeah, they didn't pay attention. They didn't look, but we don't, we don't want to tick people off. He was just like, this guy's nuts. And like Matt has no remorse here. Like Matt's like, that's rare for Matt to be like, nope, I'm not going to make this guy happy at all. Like it is what it is. Let him do what he does. Like there's nothing we can do to make them like, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> exactly, dude. We're not going to make this guy happy. He literally thought he was guaranteed an auto. We couldn't believe it. 
We really couldn't believe it. We were like, really? You really thought you were guaranteed? I just, I've never heard of that. Someone thinking they were guaranteed the auto. <coughs> it's like, okay, buddy. Well, you do what you got to do. You go to eBay and complain to them and see what they say. Technically, I know one. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It was like, what the heck? What the heck is wrong with people? So guys, yep, we're pushing the Tops Gallery. I know it's not brand new product or anything. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we have Kazuma in here, Steven, Michael Duffy, uh, Steven Wood. I said you, uh, Dandy Andy, Dan and Will, Nicholas Marlowe, Easy Pleasy. We have plenty of spots left, though not really in a sense, because shouldn't take that long to sell the rest of those out. They're not highly expensive, guys. Sorry, guys, I'm actually looking at trying to find this guy's info to see if he had tried to leave negative feedback. I'm just curious if he's going to do it or not. And then it was weird. He was passive-aggressive. He said, he said, like, have a nice Memorial Day. Or something like that weekend. And it was like, what? You th He thought we were a total ripoff, he said. And it was like... What are you thinking? You were going to get guaranteed again, which is crazy. But it was like, if you think we're a ripoff, um, if someone ripped me off, if I felt they ripped me off, I wouldn't be wishing them a nice day. Da, 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 da. I know we can do this, guys, tonight. If not, this is what we're shooting for tomorrow. Would be my guess, unless Matt goes, oh, we'll try something different. Which, who knows? Who knows? No, he didn't leave feedback, surprisingly. He's bought in other, I don't know if he's bought in breaks. He's definitely bought into other collectibles and stuff. Who knows? I read a whole, I was reading a whole thing, guys, about, uh, Canada has some crazy consumer protection rules. Yeah, he's from Canada. Luckily, I don't think those rules apply to, to the, obviously, eBay in the U.S. would be my guess. Maybe he's used to, I don't know. I just, I obviously eBay's international company, I would assume. So I'm guessing they can't enforce a company that's not based out of their country. But who knows, I could be wrong. I'm just guessing eBay doesn't have to conform to any rules, technically, I would assume, from them. Who knows? Matt's like, of course, though. that's like the only second guy we've ever had from Canada. And Matt's like, I know it has nothing to do with Canada, but of course it would be that guy. And we had to charge extra shipping. Like he's like, hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I can come up with a price for you. And I went and saw if, what, what an average package would cost to send to him. And we had to amend that, that invoice for him. And it's like, dude, I would rather not have even sent you the cards. It's like, first of all, there was no making him happy because he thought he was getting a guaranteed auto no matter what. It's like, and I know he didn't pay a ton. Um... And then it was like second of all type thing where it's like, it's just the idea of, you, there was no ma making, I w we would rather not send you anything. We'd rather just have you take your shipping back for, a, definitely for a Canadian order, um, from an order from Canada. It, w it would have been nice to just be like, yeah, okay, never mind, here's your money back. But um, Obviously, we just we can't do that because we have to send someone something because of the stupid top seller rated status. In general, they make you send something, which is just ugh. 
I wish someone would just make a website just for breaking and not loop. They suck. They suck, I tell ya. But yeah, he paid. He he only he bought the spot for thirteen dollars and fifty cents, guys. Ridiculous, thirteen dollars and fifty cents, and he thought he was guaranteed a, a May Young Auto and eight boxes. Eight boxes is how he said it. That he was supposed to get all eight boxes of the wrestling. Yeah, we were gonna sell you hundreds of do hundreds and hundreds of dollars of cards for thirteen dollars, buddy. Like, what are you thinking? It just it's if anything it doesn't make me nervous or anything. Th these are the stories that make me laugh. Matt gets really uptight about things and all like nervous and it's like not that he was nervous about this but dude this is this is just chicken noodle soup for the soul just a good laugh for the week. Someone actually was thinking this crazy like. So all the cards got sent out this week, guys, as you know. Um, I am trying something called Shippo, as you know, but I'm not sure if that's going to work 100%. We're, we're, still, we're still playing around with things. We have sh a Shippo account now, so the idea would make it easier to send your stuff, and I wouldn't have to worry because it would automatically link to our website. So as long as you update your webs your your address in there, it would, it would update it for me, whereas Pirate Ship doesn't do that. But I still had an issue when people bought into different breaks. There was no way to split and say, hey, I just want to send this one item in, in that thing now. Yeah, no problem, Dustin. No problem, dude. Wait, you have eBay going? Wrestling? You have wrestling going on, Dustin? You were able to figure it out and get it going? Yeah, no problem, Dustin. There's plenty of people in the world for all of us. I'm just happy you got yours on there, dude. Because I know it's been a struggle. So I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it, Dustin. Let's see. The problem is, how do I even find you on here, dude? I don't think I have you saved as a... A seller. Saved sellers. Well, we have a lot of them. Well, no, I do here. Fish them for cards. That's, that's not what it says, but you know what I mean. I didn't know you were going on tonight, dude. Sorry, I keep saying dude. I'm hating that. Well, best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. I hope it does well for you. I really do. I'm looking where you're at right now. I'm looking forward to that Clemens auto to come in for from Happy Hour Trivia. Yeah, dude, that that was uh I can't help myself, dude, dude, dude. Some people always go um um when they do speeches, I say dude. Matt says dude too. I noticed. Yeah, it was a it was a good time. It was a good time, Michael. I mean, part of me dreads doing. Give me those Rockies while I'm waiting. You got it, Dustin. I will. Do you want me to manually take them down, Dustin? By the way, let me. Or did you take them already? Um, thank you, Dustin. I just saw it. It did go through. Boom. Yes, I, I literally was just on there. Thank you. Um, I dread it because of the... It's and like, I don't know how to put it. Like, I just get stressed. It's two in the afternoon, which isn't a big deal. I actually chose that time because it was a lot easier than trying to do it before or after a break, which I still think it is. But... Part of me is it just the stress of having to figure out questions, all that. Once we get flowing into it, I enjoy it so much. I once I get into it, I just enjoy it. It's awesome. 
Yeah, got it, Dustin. Thank you. Yeah, I just I, once we get into it, and if there's a good amount of people there, it gets to be so fun. It really is so fun. That reminds me, this week Matt and I have to come up with refilling the uh, the punch box. There's one spot left on it, I think. So I got to refill the punch box. Um, sometime soon would be what I need to do. Get the punch box filled back up. Or at least figure out what's going in it next. Um, so I got to talk to Matt about that. And uh, yeah, it just makes me happy, guys. Get, trying to make you guys happy makes me happy. Getting to see you guys have fun makes me happy. Um, yeah, it just does. I, I, lo I love And it's like a way to hang out. Like, it's just a way to hang out. I wish we could all hang out in person and do it. It'd be so much more fun if we were all if we all lived near each other, and it's like we'd go to, we'd go to someone's house or something, and in the garage or basement, and I could put these games on live in person. It would be so fun. That would be the ultimate the ultimate with that. Dustin, are you doing more wrestling than just this case? Are you doing more? Let me see. I'm going to maybe try to get a wrestler. Does Matt know too? Because I know he would probably go for certain, certain people. Let me, uh. Log out. If I can remember how to do that here. There we go. Oh, uh, no, I can't remember my password. Nope, let's try a different one. Okay, anything? Nope, sorry. Okay, there we go. I had to log into my PayPal, Dustin. Let me see what you got going, Dustin. First, let me save you. There, now you're saved in my cellars. And in soonest, what do we got? I'm trying to think who I'd want. Um, of course, I didn't check the I didn't check the checklist myself. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to see if anyone I want is left. Unfortunately, I wouldn't go too crazy for the big people. I'm just, I don't have that type of money right now. But some of these people I was thinking of. Um, no, 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 no. Some of these bit butch women. Go back, I want to see... No, what are you doing? No, it's putting me into Beard Bros without asking me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I may have bid with Beard Bros by accident. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be... Dustin, I need help. <laughs> hey, Dustin, can you do me a favor? I just placed a bid... And I want to undo it so I can bid with the correct, um, I want to bid with mine. Not, Matt's going to get all, 
understandably, I would get annoyed too. Uh, I bid on something. Save searches. Come on. Purchase history. Wish list bids. I just want to. Uh, unbid on that and use my own personal one. Or I'll just. You know what, Dustin? I'll just go into my own and I'll. No. Dang it. Give me a minute, Dustin. I'm going to figure this out. It's like maybe I'll just go on my own. Because I accidentally used Beard Brothers and I don't want to do that. Yeah, how do I undo the bid so I can then go back with my own account? Um, eBay. Undo bid. I just gotta. I want to use my own account, not Beard Bros. If there are twelve hours or more left before the listing ends, oh! If your listing is any listen, you can track movement. If it's been less than an hour since you placed it, how do I do that? If the listing is ending in less than 12 hours, you can retract your most recent bid if it's been less than an hour since you placed it. Come on. Matt's going to get all, woo. That's, that's why. Sorry, Matt. Off. Let me see if I can figure this. It's because, you know what, when I bid on it, then it bid again and again. Is my guess. Okay, Dustin. Yeah, let's let's. If you don't mind doing it that way, I I bid like ten bucks on Peyton Royce. Um, so if it goes through, if you could just cancel it and I'll pay you PayPal. I just screwed up on that is all. <laughs> I was like, oh, just don't bid myself, but then I'll end up paying just more and more than I would may have to. I don't know. Let me log out of this just to be safe so I don't do that again. What the heck? Sign in again. I want... No, oh, that's why I'm in the wrong thing. probably would help ah Matt what's up Ryan what's up
Oh, sorry guys, I must have... Sorry, I just, I guess I, it, it wasn't even like fully turned off, it was halfway turned off when I leaned over and was doing something. So, I was just saying, I was thinking pull easy, I couldn't remember how to spell it correctly, I hope I did spell it correctly, but I feel like I didn't, and uh, then I was just telling you, Matt, I don't know if you heard when I said, Dustin's just going to cancel my bid if I win Peyton Royce, and I'll pay with PayPal. Because it, yeah, it, it, I was trying to log into it and I didn't go all the way out like I thought I did. And I'm like, oh, it worked. And then boom. So we got Colt here. Thank you, Colt. Thank you, Colt. We love you, dude. I mentioned AMC. I don't know if you heard that either. Matt's, Matt showed me. And he's kicking himself in the butt about it. Matt, Matt always has these, like, well, Matt, it's, oh, wait, it's, I'm it's not showing anything on my thing, Matt. You're saying sold out. Well, it still shows up on the website as it's available. So sold out usually needs, it needs to be taken down. So are you taking it down then? I, what's going on? You tell me, Matt. You tell me. Because as far as on my phone, it still shows up. Matt saying Colt took the rest. The closer. Give me a minute, guys. Thank you, Colt. Uh, we may have sold another spot. Give me a minute. Just want to make sure and confirm if we did or not. That it didn't get sold before because it wasn't taken down. No. Nope. Product. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, it looks like, see, that's what I was thinking. Give me a minute. Uh, cause it's kind of up on the website. Closer is the best. Take it down. Cause it showed up on my end. I want to make, see, no. Now it's showing negative three, Matt. Give me a minute, guys. I'm just making sure everything is going through. So the Mets, the Mets went to Blaze. Blaze took the Mets. They were still up. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing, nothing with you, Colt. Obviously, just Matt's got to take him down in the future. But now I'm getting a negative three. Matt probably took him down after the fact. So the only one you didn't have is the the Mets. Those were still available. Blaze took them while they were still available. So we will get to break and give me one second, guys. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Just getting over. That's what that's what I'm saying. You got to be more specific. Or Matt's it. I'm saying Matt needs to be, guys. 
That's all. So I know what's going on. So, just switching chairs around, guys. And we will get to breaking. Get to breaking, daking. Okay, guys, let me just do this. And do this and this. So, again, thank you very much, Blaze. Thank you very much, Colt. Oh. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate the support. And I'm so glad we could break this tonight because this is good product. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed the sorting trays. Okay, let me just make sure I got here. We got this. No, there's no game night this week, uh, Andy. Game nights. Game night is the week after. So we just did game night, so then it skips a week, and we do game night the week after. So yeah, no game, no game night this week. The week after, we will. The change up with game night is that it's no longer just Wednesday's break; it's any break that week that was from the website. So that's the, that's going to be the uh, difference. That's going to be the uh, the big difference is that uh, that we have now is that it's going to be. Um, any break from that week that was the website could count towards the games. So I'm going to randomly choose one. Um, on average, I'll randomly choose one. I may even choose, I don't know, I'm just saying I may even choose anyone who got in that week can get in just to allow for enough people because obviously I did that this past week and uh, as we saw when when i've done when i did that that we had just enough people to have a really good game going anyway so oh they open like butter loving it ooh i don't want know what that is but we'll find out so i may even do it that way where it's like anyone who got into that week um i'm not guaranteeing it yet but i may do that just to to make sure we have enough people Da, 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 da. Oh, Matt. Dude. Oh, they open like butter. I mean, literally open like butter, dude. This time, these cards have fake autos, lol. Remember, this time, these cards have fake autos, lol. Well, might as well make sure it's a good fake auto. Oh, that's... No, that was the other product, though. Are, are we are we mentioning uh, the product? What, what product did we just do where Matt was like, Oh, my God, guys! Oh, my God! And then it was... Or was it this product? I'm, I'm getting old. I can't remember now. Was it this product? That that's what happened? I can't remember what the product was, though. Maybe it was this product, because you know what? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, wasn't it? I'm thinking I did this last time. Yeah, Matt with the fake auto. Now I remember. I can't believe it's not butter. Matt with the fake auto. Oh my god, guys. That was hilarious. Yep, now, now I'm remembering. I, I was thinking, like, wait, didn't I break this? And I was like, oh, wait, no, Matt did break this himself. Now I remember. Oh, Matt. Well, that's like when that's like when Lunch did a did a thing of a product. I, it may have been Topps Gallery, too, when he had some in. And I didn't realize, or it may have been Heritage or something. I didn't realize they had those fake auto-type cards out at the time because I was new to breaking and cards. And it was one of those things where I was like, what? Did I get a bunch of autos? Like Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. That's going to easy polizy. Uh, 
Okay, guys. Zach Allen. Junior Fernandez. A nice... Wow! Already. Already. A nice Paul Goldschmidt. You guys already saw that, but... And... The first auto going to Brian Abreu. Brian Abreu for the Astros. That's Nicholas Marlowe. Way to start it off. My guess is... Oh no, that was the middle, so never mind. Brian Abreu. Go into the Astros. Already, Garrett Cole, Jesus Lazardo. I'm gonna bring these down just a little more, guys. I want to give you more view. Colin Morgan, and this was the green card. I wasn't sure what it was at first. Modern artist. Aristides Aquino, 216 out of 250. Let's see what we can get, Dandy Andy. Again, I want to thank you, Colt. We really do appreciate it. Definitely do. Francisco Lindor. <laughs> Gavin Lux. Jose Barrios. Dustin May. Lance McCullers Jr. George Brett. Yusei Kikuchi. Reese Hoskins. Sean Murphy. Chris Bryant, Justin Verlander, Albert Pujols, Pablo Lopez, Jose Altuve, Mitch Moreland, a nice master and apprentice, Roberto Alomar and Bo Bichette, Brendan McKay, Marcel Azuna in big trouble right now with the cops. If you guys heard me earlier, in big trouble with the cops. Trevor Richards, Justin Upton, Yader Molina, Hunter Harvey, Sinshu Chu, Sinso Chu, Lou Bob. We'll give that some protection. Glaber Torres, and Garrett Cole. Eric Thames, Kyle Freeland, Zach Little, Mike Clevenger, Mark McGuire, Eloy Jimenez, Cesar Hernandez, Marwin Gonzalez, Yusei Kikuchi, and a nice master, master and presence, Don Madeline, Aaron Judge, and Nick Solak. Jacob DeGrom, Gavin Lux, Robinson Cano, Jalen Davis, Mike Yastrzemski, Bryce Harper, really, Josh Van Meter, Gallery Private Issue, there we go, 26 out of 250, Josh Van Meter going to the Reds, that's going to Stephen Wood. Congrats. Just 
for making sure I grabbed the right pile. Modern artist Glaber Torres. Mike King. An artist card. Christian Walker. Sam Hillard. Mauricio Dubon. Vladdy Jr. JT Muto. Raphael Devers. Corey Kluber. Trevor Bauer. Jordan Montgomery. And a nice Raphael Devers, David Ortiz, Master and Apprentice. And for the last of this box, Hai Hyun Jin Ryu, Kyle Schwarber, K. Anthony. Mike Trout, Xander Bogarts, Paul Goldschmidt, Chris Bryant, Blake Snell, and Mike King going to the Yankees. Mike King going to the Yankees, guys. That is going to... Stephen Wood. So our first two autos, Mike King and Brian Abreu. <coughs> Shin Yamaguchi, Shun Yamaguchi, sorry. Ronald Kuna Jr., Blake Snell, Matt Thias, Michael Conforto, Apprentice Card. Nico Horner. Fraber, uh, Framber Valdez. Robel Garcia. Juan Soto, Roberto Alomar, Adam Hasley, Hasley, sorry, Hazley, Nick, uh, Nick Birdie, James Car Karnachak, Matt Thias, Apprentice Tony Gwynn and Fernando Tatis Jr. Joey Votto, Alex Brickman, Tommy Canal, Travis Demirte, Clayton Kershaw, Martin Maldonado, Maldonado, Matt Chapman, Andrew McCutcheons, Jorge Soler, Max Muncy, Aaron Chaval. And 192 on a 250 going to Adam Hazley for the Phillies. Private gallery, private issue. So that was box number one, guys. Ronald Acuna Jr. I was hoping for an auto. Truthfully, I don't know if they made those autoed, but... Oh, give me one second, guys. Ugh. Okay, just wanted to make sure the stream was up because it was quiet. Just want to make sure nothing went wrong.
Just mix it up a little was my thought. Actually, guys, give me one second. I kind of want to move this a little closer. Give me one second, sorry. I'm going to try moving everything a little closer to me. There we go. I figure that may help. And that may be part of the problem. We always have it pushed back so far. Time for a one on one. Wouldn't that be nice? Trust me, I hope I get a one on one. A one on one would be amazing. That would make my night. Okay, guys, well, let's get to it. Reese Hoskins, Jose Barrios, Dustin May, Master and Apprentice, Lou Bob, Frank Thomas, Albert Pujols, Marwin Gonzalez, Miguel Cabrera, Jesus Tano Tanaco, Javier Baez, Nick Solak, Anthony K. Cesar Hernandez, Shed Long, and Trevor Richards. Trevor Richards going to the Tampa Bay Rays. That is the closer, one of the teams he got to end the break for us tonight. Or to sell it out, I should say. Andrew Bogart, Chris Bryant, Hyun Jin Ryu, Kyle Schwarber, Austin Meadows, Shun Yamaguchi, Blake Snell, Matt Thias, Paul Goldschmidt, Lou Gehrig, Nico Horner, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., Shin So Chu, another mas master and apprentice, Roberto Alomar, Bo Bichette, Adam Hazley, James Karnachak, Fraber Valdez, Orbel Garcia, Freddie Freeman, Joey Vato, Tommy Connell, Travis Demirte, Nick Birdie, James Karnachak, 54 out of 99, 54 out of 99 going to the Indians, that's Stat and Will Cards. The 101 Artist Original Sketch Cards are pretty cool, that would be a cool one to get. 
I have no doubt that would be a cool one to get. And let's get one of those. Let's just do it. Martin Mal Malon yeah. Martin Maldonado. Jorge Soler. Alex Bregman. Oh, a nice shiny Lou Bob. We'll get that protected right away. Again, all cards will get protected after. I promise. Moogie Betts, Aaron Cheval, Jacob DeGrom, Matt Chapman, Andrew McCutcheon, Jalen Davis, and modern artist Eloy Jimenez. Whit Merrifield. Noah Sinregard. A nice Zach Little. Master and Apprentice, Rafael Devers, David Ortiz, Patrick Sandoval, Sam Hillard, Mauricio Dubon, Max Muncy, Master and Apprentice, Cody Bellinger, Gavin Lux, JT Romilto, Jose Altuve, Mitch Moreland, Sean Murphy, Bo Bichette, Brendan McKay, Trevor Richards, Justin Upton, Pablo Lopez, Marcel Azuna, Mr. Troublemaker himself, Hunter Harvey, another Lou Bob. Quiet, Kitty. Glaber Torres, another Azuna. Clemente. Roberto Clemente, Eric Thames, Clevenger, Chu, and what do we got here? 32 out of 250, Chipper Jones going to the Braves. Kazuma Kaneko, that's you. Big Mouth Kitty doesn't want to be quiet tonight. Matt Chapman, Modern Artist. Eloy Jimenez. Artist card. Trevor Bauer. Christian Walker. Shohei Otani. And it's going to Junior Fernandez. Going to the Dirty Birds. That is going to the Closer. Going to the closer again. Jordan Montgomery, Raphael Devers, Corey Kluber. Alex Young. 11 out of 250. Nice low numbered. Alex Young going for the Braves. That's, uh, sorry, the Braves. The D-backs. Go into the closer. Joey Vato, Garrett Cole, Colin Moran, Zach Allen, Junior Fernandez, Nolan Ryan, Gavin Lux, Lance McCullers, Jesus Lazardo, Glaber Torres, Ernie Banks, Yusei Kikuchi. There is one box for the closer. I called two boxes, lol. And we thank him for getting those two boxes because it got it sold out. So we are very, very thankful. Ooh, a nice Tatis. Please be autoed or something. Nah, Tatis. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. I was I, I, a man can hope. Well, guys, we're halfway there. Uh, oh, halfway there. Uh, oh, living on a prayer. We're halfway there, guys. We still have four autos to go, though. Four autos. There's still plenty of time. That's what's great about a product with two autos per box. That's why I hate... I partially hate when you have products that only have like one auto because you're just like oh if, if you miss it the first time you ain't getting it the second time are you so we still have a chance with this so that's good And let's get to fun time. Solar, Bregman, Connell, Kershaw, Agrizal, DeGrom, Chapman, McCutcheon, Bagwell, Strowman, Dubon, Muncy, Sanchez, Mays, Severino, Bauer, Walker, Hillard, Vlad Vladimir Jr., Modern Artist Card, Villar, K, K, K. Hernandez, Gonzalez, Master and Apprentice, Yamaguchi, Bryant, Ryu, Schwarber, Trout, Horner, Thias, Goldschmidt, Moreland, and oh, there we go, back to back, Mitch Moreland, going to the Red Sox, going to Michael Duffy. Going to Michael Duffy. There you go, Duffy. Stick with your Red Sox, man. That Bagwell was numbered. I'll go right back. I was going, started going too fast. Was it in this pile or the other pile? I started started moving like boom, boom, boom. I... Thank you for catching that. For the Astros, Jeff Bagwell on a 99, 62 on a 99 Hall of Fame. I don't know why I was just like, ooh. Hazley, Soto, Acuna Jr., Snell, Seeger, Vato, Karinchak, Valdez, Garcia, Alomar. Definitely going to make sure I check Mal Malanato. Maldonado. 
Make sure I don't miss another one of those. Thank you uh, very much, Dandy Dandy, for catching that. Demirte, Birdie, Hoskins, Master and Apprentice, Munez, Fernandez, Devers, Kluber, Master and Apprentice, Guerrero Jr., Morin, Gallon, Berrios, and a Lewis Thorpe going to the Twins. Lewis Thorpe going to the Twins. That is Colt. That is going to Colt. Martinez, McCullers, Lazardo, and we have 160 on a 106 on a 205, uh, 250. Sorry, Tommy Edmond going to the Dirty Birds. Gallery, gallery, private issue. Lindor, Yarbrough, Yarbrough. Sean Murphy, Berrios, May, Brett, Albies, Moreland, Hoskins, Murphy, Loriano, Buxton, Upton, Lopez, Altuve, Judge, Torres, Ozuna, Richards, Molina, Kemp, Clevenger, Chu, Lubob, Webb, Andrus, Harper, Freeland, Little, Gallo, not to be confused with Joey Callo, Bieber, Puck, Yastrzemski, Yelich, that is numbered Yelich on a 250, 125 on a 250 Yelich. Double check some of the others. I don't think I missed any of those, but. Glaber Torres, Lane, and an artist card. Give me one second, guys. I'm just going to double check. We have the time. I don't think I missed because usually they're colored, but I just want to rather check real quick now than later to make sure I didn't miss any of them. I don't think I did, but let's just make sure. I was like, no, that's got to be numbered, is it? Nope. Might as well check real quick. I don't want to miss any on you guys. Da -da -da. Almost there, guys. Oh, quiet, kitty. Like he never gets taken care of. The big old mean, horrible Brett doesn't feed him. Just lets him starve, apparently. Da, 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 da. On the last pile.
Check in the last pile, guys. Down to 20 cards left. Luckily, I have not found any missed cards that I can see. Nope. Okay, guys, we're good. Matt would catch it anyways, or should catch it anyways after, but I'd rather just check now and make it easier. Okay, guys. Last box. Mojo. Last box, Mojo. Ooh, took out two cards with it. Jackie Robinson. Oh, there you go. Nice Jackie Robinson. I would assume any uh, redemption at this point would still be good because tops. I'm sure they would have it still good at this point, I would hope. So one more time goes, I call for a Devers Auto. I was about to say, just one more time, guys. Even if you've done it already, call what you're looking for. Call what you're looking for. Let it be known loud and proud that you are looking for what you're looking for. Throw it out there. Maybe the maybe the breaking gods will hear your prayer and deliver that card to us. So we got, again, a Devers for Duffy. Dandy Andy wants a Bichette or a Lou Bob. That's the whole point. If you call it, and people have called cards and won them from us, too. And literally, like, hey, I'm looking for this card, and next card we get is the card they're looking for. So it makes the story that much more awesome when you can be like, no, seriously, I called what I wanted, and I got it. Thias, Goldschmidt, Bryant, McKay, Arenado, Soto, Acuna Jr., Snell, Machado, Yelich, Karnachak, Valdez, Garcia, Betts, Webb, Demirte, Birdie, Merrifield, Jack Flaherty, Modern Artist, Machado, Artist Card, Kai Boom, Perez, Hira, Yelich, Tro Auto and a White Sox card, lol. <laughs> Lux, Young, Edmund, McMahon, Cal Ripken going to the Orioles, 54 out of 99. Hall of Fame. Kikuchi. 
Sale. Tsugo. Noose. Robles. Pujols. Hosmer. Rizzo. Bichette. Pete Alonzo, modern artist. McKay. Springer. Stewart. Lindor. Art Master and Apprentice. Harvey. Solar. Bregman. Connolly. Master and Apprentice. Noose. I know I've said that guy's name like 10 different times tonight. I feel like. Collins, Clevenger, and going the first one. Wait. First one going to the Cubs. Robo Garcia. Robo Garcia going to the Cubs. That's going to Stephen Wood. Okay, guys. Davis, Cabrera, Tanako, Merrifield, Cal Rifkin again, King, Rogers, Van Meter, Akiyama, Kershaw, Real Muto, Hernandez, Gonzalez, Torres, Meadows, Aristides Aquino, Ryu, Schwarber, K, Master and Apprentice, Lupolo, Megden, Tatis. Thinks it's the first one we've seen tonight, but I could be wrong besides the Giant. Tucker, Ken Griffey, Montgomery, Alonzo, Olsen, Chu. Master and Apprentice. It's got to be in this last patch, guys. I don't know. Uh, um, I haven't heard anything. I don't know if it's just the market how it is, Dandy Andy. I know for a lot of breakers, this market's just something you can't... It's not easy to handle. It's not easy to handle. And luckily, Matt, it's Matt and I together, which makes it, uh, which makes it easier for us. Because two guys doing the work, obviously, you have to spit... Uh, split money which really sucks but at the same time I couldn't imagine doing this all by myself Dietz Alvarez Alubob and you guys can see that there as you guys can see already going to the closer Alex Young going to the D-backs. Alex Young going to the D-backs. Yeah, it could be anything. It could be family stuff. Who knows? There could be a billion things, truthfully. Thames. Abreu. Halsley. Max Scherzer. Bregman, Saval, Sinregard, Toshman, Brown, Lewis, Jimenez, and Boyd. So that's the end of the break, guys. Let me sort kind of through these all. We'll kind of do it by the type of card it is. Okay, guys. Yep, we have so much product coming out. Two foils, yeah, two foil Lou Bobs. <coughs> Here we go. 
Modern Artist Recap Aristides Aquino 216 out of 250. Christian Yelich, that's a heritage card. 125 out of 250. James Karnachak, 54 out of 99. Adam Hasley, the rest are uh, gallery private issue cards. Adam Hasley, 192 out of 250. Josh Van Meter, 26 out of 250. Alex Young, 11 out of 250. Tony Edmond, Tommy Edmond, 106 out of 250. The rest of these are Hall of Fame cards. Chipper Jones, 32 out of 250. Uh, Jeff Bagwell, 62 out of 99. And Cal Ripken Jr., 54 out of 99. And for... The autos, guys. I'm just making sure we didn't have even one team repeat. Going to the Red Sox. Mitch Moreland. Junior Fernandez with the Cardinals. Robel Garcia with the Cubs. Mike King with the Yankees. With the Rays, Trevor Richards. Brian Abreu with the Astros. Lewis Thorpe with the Twins. And ending with Alex Young going to the D-backs. So thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait for that Futera either, Dan. Uh, Dandy Andy, that's going to be a good one. Just switching mics. So thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who got in. Thank you everyone in general for your great support you guys give us. Um, we have so many breaks guys still to fill. Uh, and more products coming out as we speak. So there's a good amount of stuff to keep filling. So we got to keep doing it. So we really appreciate it guys. Um, we will be on tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Our usual time. 5 o'clock. Trying to push on the website. Whatever is closest. Um, the tier 1 is closest by 3 spots. So we would probably choose tier 1. But if you guys get a couple more spots sold down in Futera. We'll push that. But we do appreciate it, guys. We really, really, really do. Um, I can't stress that enough. I know it may even sound annoying at times. But this wouldn't be possible without you guys. And like I said, Matt and I talked a little today. We'll talk a little more. But I am thinking that may not be a bad idea. When it breaks, it's on the website for a little too long. We'll move it to eBay and finish off it with a eBay to hopefully sell the rest of the spots. So we may try that a couple times as long as it does well. We could keep uh, keep up with it. And that would be a good way to keep these things pushing. But we love you guys. We will catch you tomorrow at 5. Again, thank you for the support. And uh, hopefully uh, some people get some good luck tomorrow.